everyone, Abby here, and welcome back to my channel for Tech Tuesday, or welcome if you're new. So you guys saw the title of this video, my Z Flip 4 is broken. Kind of funny because I just did an update video about seven months with the Z Flip 4, and I just said like, hey, it's holding up great, no issues. And about a month after that, in my eighth month now, my Z Flip 4 is broken. So I'm gonna get into that now and let you guys know what is wrong with my Z Flip 4. But before I get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed so you can stay tuned to all my new videos dropping weekly and so you can help the channel grow. So I'm gonna pop the case off because I know you guys love seeing the phone without a case on. So here is the phone without the case on if you guys are interested in kind of the condition of it. This is eight months old now, no scratches or scuffs or anything. So yeah, the issue that I am having right now that just started today, I do not know why, is that when I go to open the phone, it will not open any further than this. It's super strange, you know, I've opened it up hundreds of times, flipped it open and shut, went to open it and it wouldn't open further. So I tried to like push it a little bit more, but then there was a lot of resistance. I was thinking in the first second, I was like, maybe I should try to see if I can like pull it, force it open. Then I was like, no, I probably shouldn't do that. What if it breaks? So I reached out to Samsung customer service. Since my phone is still under warranty, you know, it's less than 12 months old and this is clearly a mechanical issue. So basically they said that it does meet the requirements for warranty, so I'm gonna be sending this in to get fixed. And for those of you wondering, did not get wet. I did not drop the phone, I did not damage it in any way. This just randomly happened. Um, as always on my channel, you guys know I give you full honesty, so I wanted to let you guys know, basically as soon as this issue happened, something that I wasn't expecting and something that I'm definitely annoyed about. If you guys are finding this video helpful so far, please go ahead and smash that like button for me. I'd really appreciate it. Another thing I wanted to mention is that the display is not cracked. Some of you might be thinking like, oh no, the display is broken, it's horrible, but it's not. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, I can't open it any further, but there is no cracks in the display. There is no scratches or dark spots on the display, or scuffs or fraying or anything, no damage to the display. Uh, my phone will still unlock, it will still power on so I can use it. Just, it can't open further than this. So to me, it just seems like purely a hinge issue. It's just the phone won't open, so I can't use it to the full extent, obviously. One thing I am big about is honesty, and I wanna let you guys know if there's any issues I find with anything I do review on the channel. One week later. All right, guys, so future Abby here. It has been seven days, and I finally got my Z Flip 4 back from Samsung just got it in the mail today. So the overall process took seven days in total. I was quoted five to seven business days. It was three business days, so I'm really happy with that. Another thing I wanted to mention is that I did have the option to go ahead and drop it off at the service center closest to me. The closest service center to me was an hour and a half drive one way. And once I dropped it off, they said it would take one to two business days for them to fix it. Overall, that's six hours of driving for me to go there, drop it, come back home, pick it up. I did not want to do six hours of driving, so I decided to opt for the mail-in option. They sent me a free return shipping label. Now let's go ahead and open this up and see if it's fixed. All right, so they shipped it back in this kind of box here. So it's packed very securely in a nice bubble mailer, which I am happy about. And there's some paperwork inside with like what was done. So here is the paperwork that I got. You guys can read what it says if you want. Also came in the box with a return shipping label if I need to use that. It says I have an additional 90 days warranty on the workmanship and parts. So I'm gonna pull that tab. Didn't really do anything. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm just gonna try to slide it out or pull it out. All right, so you can see it says, your satisfaction is our priority. Well, sticker, which I don't really like that they put a sticker on my phone, but <laughs> I'm gonna take that off now. All right, guys, so the moment I have been waiting for, I am dying to see if they fixed this flip issue. All right, let's see. Okay, so it is opening fully now, which is fantastic. They put this gigantic uh, sticker thing on it. You guys can kind of read that if you want to. Just telling me how to use the screen like I don't already know, but anyways, I'm gonna take off the sticker. All right guys, so it looks like they fixed it. It is flipping completely open now. If you guys don't remember, it was stopping about here. Couldn't get it anymore, but now seems to be working again. 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. And I noticed that they did put some stickers kind of all along it. So like here, along the sides here as well. That is something that I am liking to see. And they did go ahead and delete everything, which is annoying because I put in a maintenance mode because that is something Samsung offers for when your phone is sent into maintenance so you don't have to delete everything. But they went ahead and did that anyway, which kind of sucks, we have to reset it up. I'm gonna go ahead and reset it up because I'm gonna have to do that. But I did wanna let you guys know that this whole process took seven days. My phone broke on a Thursday. I called Samsung, got my return label, sent it back out, and I got it the next Thursday. So all in all, it took about seven days. They did tell me it could take five to seven business days to get the phone. I got it in about three business days, which is great for me. So I will let you guys know if there's any other issues with my Samsung Z Flip 4 here. I will say that I'm happy with how Samsung did deal with the situation and that, you know, they were pretty responsive in getting me my product back to me and fixing it quickly. If you do want to watch any of my other Z Flip 4 videos, whether you want to watch my Z Flip 4 cons, YouTubers don't tell you about my Samsung Z Flip 4 update after seven months, you can find all of my Z Flip 4 videos in the description below. And all right, guys, that's all I have for today. If there's anything I missed today that you want to know, just go ahead and drop a comment below. Thanks for watching, guys, and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.